We're so glad you have tuned in to the Josh and Ashley Show. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And, of course, my wonderful, beautiful, precious, outstanding, magnificent co-host. Can I keep going? You yeah, want, keep you, going, yeah. <laughs> my lovely, darling wife and uh, the first lady of our family and our church. And we're just so thankful that you are watching and listening today. we got a great show. We, listen, we've got a gentleman that's going to be on the show with us today. You are not going to want to miss this. You know, I, I, I think mean, all great. the Josh and Ashley shows are good. Yep. But this one's going to be extra oh, good. Oh, it's going to be incredible, 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 incredible. And I want to tell you something about this show. You're going to be able to hear things. Uh, maybe you you never heard before. You're going to hear testimony, and you're going to hear songs that I know you're familiar with, and the songs that you're going to hear today is going to come from the writer himself, and uh, you're going to be blessed uh, by the music and the ministry of our special guest. Now, we can't tell you who it is because we want you to stay right where you are and hang on. So in the meantime, why don't you do two things for us, all right? Why don't you take out your smart device or smartphone, and why don't you go online to Josh and Ashley Franks Com. You can order our brand new music there. There is Hope is our new record. You can also find our itinerary. All those good things are there at joshandashleyfranks.com as well as like us on Facebook. Second of all, you can find somebody and tell them to put their dial right here on the Josh and Ashley show and tell them to tune in and listen to the show today and watch us. And they'll certainly be glad they did by the end of this show. I promise you. Well, we always kick off with a grand hymn of the church. Here's one right here you're going to remember but today we're going to put our own little frank's twist to it but still has the same great lyrics thank god that he has set me free 235 in the hymn once like a bird in prison i dwell no freedom from my sorrow i felt yeah. but jesus came and listen to me glory to god he set me free he set me free he set me free he broke the bonds Classic, but it's on our new recording. I think you're gonna like this. I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day that I live, I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning, till I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. I am blessed. Well, I've got shoes on my. Bye. 
creatures on this earth. They are mine upon new birth, and we shall share in that home beyond the sky. very special guest today and we're so excited that he's here to join us. This gentleman is very, very near and dear to our he hearts. Uh, he's, a, he's one of our greatest friends. Mm -hmm. He's a mentor. And you know what? We can thank him because he's the one who stood before you and I he so did. we could say our I do's. He did. And yeah, we absolutely. said I did and I do and we've been doing and did ever since. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? And here we are. Well, we're so glad today to welcome our friend and he, I know he's your friend as well. He is the father of the Crab family. He's an evangelist. He's a songwriter. He's a singer. And the list of, of uh, uh, credits and, and uh, you don't have accomplishments, time. we just don't have the time. Welcome, my friend, Gerald Crabb today. Man, it's good to be here. I'm so glad Love you're you here. Guys. We're just excited. I, I couldn't wait for you to get well, on the Josh Nashville Show. Thanks for asking. And we've I been, really am excited. We've been having, uh, you've been so busy, we've been having trouble getting you here, but finally it worked out. It worked out. And I'm so glad. Well, we got a lot to talk about, <laughs> and uh, you got a lot you could talk about and share the goodness of God, the grace of God. Where do we even begin? Man, I, you guys have been as busy as I have. I mean, <laughs> but isn't that a good thing? Isn't that better than the alternative? Well, you know, we, <laughs> we were just talking about you uh, uh, was in West Virginia just a few days ago, sang at a, um, a great outdoor event there with your two sons and the Freemans, and, uh, and you preached the gospel outside. And then the picture we saw was just, it just spoke. It's, you know, they say a picture speaks yeah. a thousand words. And there on a public street, you were able to preach the gospel and souls were saved. It was just beautiful. It was an awesome day. They the, the, had the, you know, big sound system and stuff, and really loud. So the, the word went all over town. Wow. It was right downtown. Wow. And uh, when I gave the invitation, you know, here came this little black man, and here come this little older guy on crutches, and wow. six people came, and most they were all adult, older people, most of well, them, and gave their heart to the Lord. You just never know where that seed's going. Exactly, land. you never know. You just, and it's amazing that yeah. God is is using you and your gifts mm -hmm. and your abilities, and it's just it's just outstanding. And we're we're just proud to call you our friend. Oh, I want you to man. know. Uh, for what God is I'm doing in your life. You guys my I want you to tell, tell in short form, I guess, a little bit of your, <clears throat> your, your testimony. I think it's just amazing. I've told this a few times. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny when we, we first started the Crab Family and touring, and I would tell my testimony. 
Uh, there were some people who told me, you really don't need to tell that. You don't need to let people know about that kind of stuff. But, uh, man, we just kept telling it Absolutely. and writing songs about it. Absolutely. You know, and uh, saw a lot of people get saved. Yes, sir. Thirty-some uh, years ago, I was a backslidden Church of God preacher and uh, had lost everything, went through a divorce, lost everything I had, working in a car wash in Beaver Dam, Kentucky. Uh, got $15 to wash a car. Oh, wow. And... Uh, they charged me seventy five. Yeah, the other day, by the way, it's, it's a lot better a than that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, everything was terrible. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, sin always leads down. Absolutely, it never elevates. Absolutely, and everything was terrible. Every day was horrible, and uh, I turned to the bottle and became a drunk yeah. quickly. I had never drank a lot, but my dad was an alcoholic. Wow, and I guess it, I just went that direction. Yeah, and. Uh, that's all I lived for. It, it was so a part of my life. That's all, when I would get up, that's what I would think of. How am I wow. going to get another, another drink? Wow. And uh, certain people, their car would come in, and they would have bottles in under the seat. And that was just my life. And, wow. And one day, uh, it was raining. Nobody was coming in. And the devil showed up at my car wash, <laughs> mighty bright car wash, as sure as I'm sitting here. He spoke to me and he said, you're a loser and you failed God and you failed the family and you failed your, the church. And, and I, you know, I had to agree with everything he said. And then he's like, he showed me this place where I used to go fishing this lake. And uh, he was, why don't you just go over there and get in your car and just drive it right off in that lake. Wow. And end everybody's problems and misery. And I thought about it. And... I say this all the time. I found out he was the prosecuting attorney because yeah. he mm -hmm. threw the book at me. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But if right after that, it, my attorney showed up. <laughs> Absolutely. Jesus walked in my Ooh. car wash. Praise God. He said to me, I love you. That's Amen. all he said. Amen. When he said, I love you. I hadn't cried in so long. I was so mad and bitter at church people. Wow. I didn't want to ever go back to church. Wow. But when he said, I love you, I fell on my knees, squalled like a baby. And the first word out of my mouth was, please forgive me. Wow. And he changed my life. And you've been writing songs about it and singing it and preaching it. And, and the, you better tell it everywhere you go. And the I Lord has blessed it. I mean, you have to. Yeah. yeah. Well, how many other people are out there in the world that may be in your same shoes that you were in? A lot. And need to hear that. And what's strange, Josh, a lot of them work in car washes. Yeah, wow. I have given that testimony. And people come and got saved and said, man, that was me to the T. Wow. I even work in a car wash. Wow. Isn't that something? That's How God. God works. That's yes. God. And, and, and you know, don't you think that God allows those things to happen sometimes in people's yeah. lives? Because you'll be able to reach them now that I won't be able to reach that, you know? I, you know, that is true. Yeah. I mean, you hate to say that. But right, mm -hmm. right. Well, he allows us God in our own will. God takes the lemons and makes lemonade. Oh, absolutely. 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 What the devil meant for harm, absolutely. God turns it into absolutely. good. Absolutely. Because I do a lot of rehab now, work with a lot of rehab yeah. people, and I can relate to them. Yeah, right. I know exactly right. what they're going and through. And I can't do that. And, boy, I can just love them and squall with them, <laughs> even when people have done fed just up like with them. Just like Paul, yeah. just like uh, Peter, uh, just like Job and, and even Noah. I mean, you find these people in the Word of God and how God turns turns their lemons into lemonade yeah. he does. and just turns their he life does. around. Well, I think and there's things to... that happen in our life because of us that are not necessarily God's will. Right. right. But when we give them to him, he right. can turn it around and make it something beautiful right. and Most use right. it Most as definitely. part of his will. And, I definitely and he's done that. that, giving you a beautiful wife mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and uh, a wonderful family. I'm blessed. And great kids. And, and they're all doing their ministries now and Grumpy. you're doing your ministry and, and just giving the devil a black eye in, in every direction. I'm so blessed. I, sometimes you, you feel bad talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> but some people think, oh, he just bragging. But they don't know where I've been. No, that's right. good. They right. don't know where I came from. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, you know, there's people listening right now. Sure. That mm -hmm. think, man, I've messed up so Absolutely. bad. Absolutely. There is no way Absolutely. I can ever have another Absolutely. life. That's a lie from the That's, that's a exactly lie. Right. And God can give you a new life. Absolutely. Amen. Pulled me out of the horrible pit, set me on a solid rock, 
And I, man, more blessed than I've ever been. Amen. Alive. I'm so glad. Hey, listen, we, we, I wish we could talk all day because we could about this. <laughs> but we want you to sing some of those songs the Lord's given you and blessed you with. And uh, you got a, you got a new song you're going to sing for I'm us. going to do a and, new song. And boy, we're excited about that. And, and of course, some of those good crab tunes, we want to <laughs> hear those today. I hope you're glad that Gerald Crab is with us today. He's going to get ready and go over to our music set. And he's going to prepare to sing some for us. And we're just certain glad that he's here and we appreciate him so very very much for coming to the Josh and Ashley show why don't we do this now why don't we just clap our hands and give a good warm welcome and a cheer to our friend Gerald Crabb as he sings his brand new song deeper deeper That inspired me Spent a lot of time sitting On the church pew Just putting in my Jesus time Like I'm supposed to do But I want to go deeper, deeper Than just toting that black book Deeper, deeper Than just some pious look Wanna go deeper to the solid rock and anchor my soul. I wanna rest my faith on that cornerstone. Wanna go deeper. I wanna go deeper. I was taken under. In the water grave Stood up and testified To the church that I was saved I became a member And shook the preacher's hand But I realized I need to go much deeper than I am I want to go deeper Than just toting that black I've let you down I dread the pain That waits for me tomorrow When the sun reveals My broken dreams Scattered all around Please forgive me I need your grace to make it through Until my dying day I'll help others find the way At your mercy Please forgive me I can't believe The God of earth and glory Would even take the time to care for an old sinner like me But you know I read 
In the Bible, that old story, that precious story, where he pled for mine and your forgiveness as he was dying on that old rugged tree. Please forgive me. I need your grace to make it through. His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, please forgive me. I need Your grace to make it through. Lord, all I have is You. I'm at Your mercy. I'm gonna serve You. Yes, I will. It had been a wonderful show today. You know, I told you it was going to be. And it has been fantastic to have one. our friend Gerald Crabb here with us. You know, he married you and I, and yeah. I was so privileged to be able to marry him and his wife, Debbie. Yeah. And they're just a blessing, and we love them we so much. We do, and just share a special friendship. We so do. Now, listen, that. I want you to go to his website, GeraldCrabministries.com. I want you to check it out. I want you to buy the product there. Uh, boy, wasn't that great song? The, the first song he did, the new song, it's Deeper. So good. Isn't that wonderful. I love that. That's on his latest mm -hmm. recording. Make sure you get that out of the GeraldCrabMinistries.com uh, store there and product. And then, of course, you can get those good Crab Family songs mm -hmm. and Gerald Crab Pins uh, has written down through the years, yeah. through the fire. Please hey, forgive me. The go list somewhere down the road and, and listen to a Gerald Crab concert or church service. Absolutely. Because you're going to be blessed. Get in a revival meeting. The mm -hmm. itinerary is there. They can find all that information. Again, that's GeraldCrabMinistries.com to come. Now listen, I believe the Lord Jesus is coming. I believe it's going to be very soon. And uh, if the rapture doesn't take place, we're going to meet here again. And I hope that you'll meet here again. But if the rapture does take place, and we're going to look forward to seeing you on the other side as we anxiously await to get to the glorious city called heaven. But until then, as Gerald Crabb is getting ready to sing for us, we're going to keep walking through the fires of this old world again and again and again. And God's going to be with us and he's going to be with with you. We love you. God bless you. Here's our friend Gerald Crabb to sing Through the Fire. So many times I've questioned certain circumstances things I could not Many times and trials, weakness blurs my vision. That's when my frustration gets so out of hand. Oh, but it's then I am in mind. I ain't never been forsaken. Ain't never had to stand one test long. When I look at all those past victories, the Holy Ghost rises up in me and it's through the fire. My weakness is made strong. He never promised the cross would not get heavy and the hill would not be hard to climb. He never offered one victory without fighting But he said help would always come in time Just remember when you're standing In the valley of death 
decision And the adversary says Give in Just hold on Cause my Lord will show up Yes he will He will take you through the fire again I know within myself That I shield those flames again I know he's gonna do it again he never promised that the cross would not get heavy and the hill would not be hard not be hard to climb he never offered one victory without fighting but he said help would always come He will. He 